Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. So the question comes, where are the good jobs, the good paying jobs in America anymore? Where are they at? Where can I find a good paying job in this country anymore? The question is, where can I find a good paying job anymore? You know, I go up here and apply at a factory or warehouse up the street and they only want to pay me uh, $10 an hour. And I can't hardly afford to pay my bills anymore on $10 an hour, eh? I'm pretty much maxed out. I, I can't hardly afford to pay my rent on $10 an hour anymore in this city right here. Pay my rent and bills and everything. I can't hardly afford to live around here anymore from $10 an hour. Where are the decent, good-paying jobs in this country right here called America? That is the question. If you're tired of them 9 to 5 jobs... Well, they pay you minimum wages. You might be laid off at any given time. You're not so sure how steady and stable your job really is from one day to the next. They lay off 30 people one week. Two weeks go by. They lay off another 25 people. Each and every week, it seems like, uh, every other week, seems like Somebody's getting laid off around here at this place I'm working at. Hey, uh, I bust, bust my ass each and every week for $10 an hour after they take off them taxes. I'm not bringing home much take-home pay. Where are the good-paying jobs in this country right here called America? Well, I'm here to tell you. I spoke to a man uh, five or six days ago. Now, he's from, originally from, right here in Middle Tennessee. He has uh, three children and a wife that live in his home right here in Middle Tennessee. But now he works in East Texas. He has an RV camper set up in a campground close by, nearby, the work site that he works at in East Texas. He goes out and stays in his camps out in the RV camper for six months in East Texas. He's a track hole operator, heavy equipment operator on the oil fields out here in East Texas. Now you can uh, go out here, I mean mind you, he makes $150,000 a year with no formal education. Now, he operates that track hole for six months, and then they give him two months to go home and spend with his three children and wife. And then he has to turn around and go back out to East Texas for an additional six months. But mind you, these guys that work over here with him, they have laborers. They have entry-level positions available. People are quitting their jobs left and right. They're always looking for help. Uh, heavy labor, they want laborers, heavy equipment operators. Um, looking for general help. Uh, you, you know, you can't be scared to get dirty out here. You're going to get dirty. You're going to work hard. These guys out here in the oil field, East Texas, North and South Dakota, hey, they, uh, they work 70 to 100 hours each and every week. They have big paychecks. They get a lot of overtime pay, a lot of double time pay, triple time pay. They go out here and bust their ass and work manual, hard, dirty work labor in the oil fields. But hey, the money that they make and send home to their wife and children is unbelievable. You want to make big bucks in America? Bust your ass. Go out here with a pair of steel toe boots from Walmart. If you don't have any wife and children, you're not tied, you're a single man, you don't have no commitments, no wife, no children to tend to, hey, forget about working up here for $10 an hour up here at the factory, where you can't hardly afford to pay your bills and make ends meet anymore. 
Hey, get you a real job. Get you go go up here to Walmart, buy you a pair of steel toe boots. Go out here to East Texas. Go up here to North South Dakota, and get you a job as a labor hand, a general laborer, working in the pipeline oil fields. You're gonna work long, hard hours. It'll be brutal. Seventy to a hundred hours a week. But those paychecks. You can save up some money, big money, in a really short period of time. Hey, go out here, get your hands dirty, work hard with your hands, and bust your ass and labor intensely with your hands. Hey, all that money you make, send some to the kingdom of the creator of the universe. Invest some of your money in the creator of the universe's works. The creator of the universe's desires. The kingdom. Invest some of your money in his kingdom. Work those long hours. Work brutal, hard, dirty work conditions. Invest some of your money into the kingdom. Of the creator of the universe. Shalom. Shalom.